Hello friends, it's Jessica and welcome back to another Goodwill thrifting adventure. So I purchased four items on today's trip and I will share with you everything that I purchased at the end of today's video. But first I do want to share with you everything that caught my eye on today's trip. If you are new here to my channel, I do mainly go thrifting for home decor, useful items, and I also like to pick up gifts for friends and family when I can find them. So if you enjoy that type of thrifting content, I do post new videos on my channel every week and I would love to have you here. So definitely consider subscribing and let me know down in the comments, which of the items that I shared in the shopping portion of today's video were your favorite. I would love to hear from you. So enjoy the music and I will be back at the end of the video to share with you everything that I purchased today.
So I was walking past the book section today and this book right here got my attention. It's called Atomic Habits. It's been on my want to read list for a couple of years now. I'm so glad I found it at Goodwill today. It was only $1.29 and I have it right here on my nightstand. I've already gotten through the first chapter. It's really interesting and I'm really going to enjoy reading the rest of this book. And I've also really been liking that book light that I thrifted a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it here at the top of the screen. So I could not leave that adorable little panda music box behind. It was only $1.99. It was vintage Otagiri. I'll definitely be saving this for a gift for someone. It works really well and it plays It's a Small World. I also purchased that brand new box of doggy pee pads. There were a total of 50 in here. I've never seen these ones before. They have activated carbon in them. They were only $4.98, which is a really good deal for these. I found these online and they retailed for $16.99, so I definitely got a good deal. And these ones had little sticky tabs on all four corners, which I thought was pretty cool. I've never seen that on any of the other ones I've purchased before. And I actually purchased these to line the bottom of my guinea pig cage. I've been doing this for a couple of years now and it works out really well. So anytime I can thrift these pads for really cheap, I usually always pick them up. And the last item that I purchased on today's Goodwill trip was that glass jar with the wood top that I shared earlier in the video. It was only $3.99 and I had actually been looking for a jar like this for quite a while. So I gave the jar a good wash and right now I'm filling it up with dog treats because I wanted a new dog treat jar for everyone's favorite thrift haul inspector peanut. I also wanted a jar that would go with the aesthetic of my home so this was perfect. And as you can see peanut definitely approved of this thrift find and you'll have to stay tuned until the end. I also included a little funny outtake of her. So that is everything that I purchased on today's Goodwill thrifting trip. I spent a total of $12.25. I got some really good deals this week. I'm really happy with what I found. But as you can see, my thrift haul inspector peanut right here is a little bit nervous. I don't think she likes the panda. She thinks it's a little bit creepy. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We hope it inspires you to go out and go thrifting for yourself. You never know what's waiting out there for you. Thanks again, and we'll see you real soon with a new thrifting video.